All right, what's up, folks? How's it going, my friends? We're playing some modern today, and uh, we're trying out some burns. Classic, classic old burn. Um, you know, both Nicole and I are possibly considering this deck for SEG Philly this weekend, and uh, it's just a classic. Not too much changes. It's a pretty simple deck list. <laughs> Nothing really wild going on here. So we're going to light it up. we got Mog Monday to follow, and I'll be joining Todd on his show Time Shift after that, which should be a lot of fun. We're going to go over some old SG Tour matches. It should be really, really cool. But let's jump right into the games. Brought to you by... Cool Stuff Inc. is proud to sponsor Jim Davis. We offer great deals on card games, tabletop RPGs, board games, and more. Get a free token featuring Jim Davis and take 5% off your next order if you use the code JIM5 at checkout. CoolStuffInc.com. Cool Stuff in stock. Let's roll. Winning die rolls on the play. Karn's feeling a little under the weather today as he's going to hang out with us. Cornflake. Thanks, Teresa. I appreciate that. Ooh. Um, kind of a weird hand. You would normally never keep a, a five lander in burn, but two, two canyons to turn one goblin guide, but you probably can't keep this hand. Yeah, just not, not good. If it was four lands and another spell, I think we, we can keep this. You know, four lander you'd never want to keep in burn, but it has two, uh, two canopy lands, and of course, turn one goblin guide, and the play is very, very good. Uh, no companion for our opponent. Uh, we're going to ship this. Kind of sucks, but sure. So from uh, from five to one, which isn't great. Don't normally want to keep one landers and burn, but I think this one is good enough. Uh, double creature spells. Not thrilled, honestly. Not thrilled, but I think we're gonna keep the steering blaze. I think we're gonna keep the steering blaze. Get rid of skewer the critics here. All right, light it up. Light it up. We do have Luris also. Luris doesn't come to, come into play too often when you're playing burn, but uh, Luris is there over our shoulder hanging out. Let's take a look and see what we got. Let's see what we got here. Attack, trigger, revealing a solitude. A solitude. All right. 10, 100 years in solitude. Of solitude. I was supposed to read that book. I never did. Fervent Champion. All right, this is the Aspiring Spike uh, uh, Boros Blade deck. Probably pretty good against us, honestly. Um, Fervent Champion, Sword of Fire and Ice and Friends. Let's draw a land here. Just draw a land. I think that's what we want to do. That's not a land. That's not a land. All right. Well, let it ride. Let it ride. Punk says, ever seeing you reviewing the new Kamigawa set, what do I think is the strongest color, pair, or mechanic? I'm not really sure yet, honestly. If you missed it, my full set review is done for Kamigawa and Neon Dynasty. It's all on YouTube. It's all on YouTube. Every color, every card. Constructed, limited. Uh, hit a land, too. So sick. Um, it's all up there. Go watch it, YouTube. Check it out. Yeah, we're, we're gonna rock this game. One landers are very often a trap and burn, but on the mulligan to six, I don't, don't think we could could have gone to five there. So, Seacrum Coast. Okay, this is the version playing uh, to ferry probably also. Spreading seas. Uh, unfortunately, spreading seas is basically can trip stone rain against burn. So I think we're uh, going to game two here. I think we're going to game two. Pretty uh, pretty perfect start for our uh, our opponent here. Two pain-free lands, perfect mana, solitude creature, and a, a spreading seas against my uh, against my one lander. Pretty perfect. Pretty perfect. Hello. Coming in. A little spreading seas. Very popular card lately. Spreading Seas. Obviously a very good answer to uh, to Urza, Urza Saga. I uh, My video on CoolStuffInc.com going up today is Tron. Just classic Tron. It's a great video. You definitely want to watch it. A lot of fun. I played against an Esper Control player who played four Spreading Seas uh, in the top 20 cards of her library. Did I win? Did I lose? You gotta watch the video on CoolStuffInc.com later. Darth says, hey Jim, just saw your set review. What do you rate the odds of another Leer being in the set? A bomb that no one expects to be good? Probably pretty high, honestly. The the Saga cards are are, are really, really, we're going to go to the next game here, are, are really, really weird. Um, they're very hard to parse, the cards that are Sagas, and they're, um, and they're also creatures. They just, like, look really weird. Uh, but we'll see. You know, we'll see. All right, Smashes are in. Um, I think that's it, honestly. Cut, like, the Skull Cracks... I think Helix is fine. Excuse me. Morning, Pappy Slappy. 
Yeah, it was, really, it was a really fun Tron League. A very fun Tron League. I guess it's probably like... I mean, Boros Charm isn't like... Great, because they're somewhat creaturey. Yeah, let's try this. Of course, 10 new brews this week. It'll be, very, be a very busy two weeks for me. Uh, we got 10 new brews. Um, 10 new brews is going to be on Thursday. On Friday morning, Nicole and I leave for SCG Philly. We're going to be there. We're going to be there Friday and Saturday. We're not going to stay on Sunday for Legacy. We're going to go home and watch Super Bowl. Uh, God damn it. Um, yeah, we got them all again, I think. I mean, like, Smash is pretty good against them. So the one line hands are just traps, you know. I mean, Terminal Goblin Guide is great, but... But, uh, yeah, then, then we got Bronson Mythic starting up uh, next week, probably on Tuesday. Probably on Tuesday. Um, yeah, I mean, just can't keep this hand. Just can't keep one-liners in the play. All right, much better, much better. All right, let's so keep this. Keep this. And we're going to dump, uh, just skewer the critics is fine. So, good hand. Who's winning the Super Bowl? Cooper Cup. I had Cooper Cup took me to my, my fantasy championship. Hopefully, I'll take the Rams to a uh, Super Bowl championship. I don't really care that much, honestly. I don't have any skin in the game, but we're going to have like a party and stuff. It should be fun. All right, it's a top card. Flooded Strand. So lucky. So lucky. He had a Solitude, me too. Oh, my God. So, we gave him the card back for Solitude. I hate Solitude. Stupid card. Stupid card. Yeah, Nicole and I are going to play the 2HG pre-release on uh, Friday afternoon. And they're both playing the Modern Open on on uh, on Saturday. Man. Alright, so uh, another Goblin Guide. Ragavan! We can't really let Ragavan hit us because we have so many uh, good hits. We kind of just have to kill the Ragavan, I think. So... Good old Modern Horizons Constructed. Just a little uh, Solitude here, Ragavan there. Just turn one Solitude, Ragavan. Nothing nothing out of the ordinary. I have a Super Bowl food tier list. No. Uh, should I? <laughs> Does that play Spike Field Hazard? Nah. It's too, it's, too, it's a bad land and a bad spell. We need, we need rate on our burn spells here. I don't like heroes. I think heroes are terrible. Nobody ever eats a hero. You always order a hero, and like a th like two thirds of it's left over, and everyone leaves. And it's just like, why the hell did I order this freaking hero? Stoneforge or Batter Skull, not good, not good. Uh, let's draw exactly Smash Smithereens or land, or land. All right, so uh, we need to do Smash or we're dead, basically. All right, let's go. Let's go. Nothing left. Spreading seas on top. Sure. They go to eight. Best sandwich. The Sammy. Also known as the Jackson. <laughs> because they have different names everywhere. Uh -huh. It's just uh, roast beef gar on garlic bread with gravy and mozzarella cheese. So good. All right, we did not draw a Smash Smithereen, so we're dead. Uh, crack one of these. All right, Mesa. Yeah. Uh, yep, yep, yep. Pretty dead. Pretty dead, unfortunately. Uh, yeah, I mean, not great hands. Opponent had really good hands both games. Obviously, we were massacred in game one. Uh, just Solitude, Stoneforge, Batter Skull. Had to use the Bolt on the Ragavan, so couldn't use it on Stoneforge. Uh... And now they once they once they game is four life, which I can't win anymore. Um, as a European gravy in a sandwich sounds awkward. No way. What is this? Oh my god. Sword of fire and ice on the germ token. All right, next game. Next game. Good games. Good games, opponent. Good games. Oh and one. Eating food rules. All right, let's go. Loris. That's better. That's a good end. That's a good hand. We like this. We like this. Let's go. On the draw against Tacky Shotgun. Mausoleum Wanderer. Come on down. Spirits. Spirits. Can you imagine playing Spirits in this in this in this, uh, in this year, 2022, the year of our Lord? Uh, what do you think, Karn? Huh? 
Huh? Aww. Yeah, he's not feeling too well today. Selfless spirit. All right. Sure, 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 sure. So in for two. Uh, we can try and Searing Blaze this. They can counter it, which kind of sucks, honestly. We're probably just going to fire up two Lava Spikes. Man, Spire Manager for days. Um, like, Suspending Rift Bolt isn't ideal, I don't think. Because they could stop this next turn. Maybe we'll just take our damage now. So, upstairs. And upstairs. You want to re re redirect your wanderer? Nope. Coming in. All right. Pretty positive on the selfless samurai card from Kamigawa. Am I wrong for thinking it's bad because it's two mana versus one? No, I think you're wrong because you're looking at it as a, as a selfless savior and not just like, as like a lifelink or attacker with a lot of upside. Lifelink's great. Lifelink's a great mechanic. All right. So they get in for a bop here. We get to try and kill this. They'll obviously save it in some way or another. Um, so spear. All right. That's fine, though. So play so spear. Fire up Searing Blaze. I'll probably counter it with the... Uh, counter it with the uh, Wanderer. We get in for four here. Yeah, playing a, a tribal deck in, the, in a world of Fury and Solitude is just, like, ridiculous. Fury and Solitude are very stupid. Very stupid cards. Like, imagine hating on tribal decks so hard. Plague Engineer, Fury, Solitude. Like, only wanting good cards to be good. No tribal cards, no fun cards, no synergy cards. Only good cards. They're at six. And we are uh, slowing down here a little bit. What do they got? This is a big turn for them. Double captain. All right. That's tough. That's tough. Attack for four and attack for seven. I think we're dead here. Um, they got a five. Maybe not. Blue is a Wanderer too. Wow, what a good draw against us. Dubs Wanderer, double captain, and a pretty good curve. I mean, if we were to play, I think we would have won this game easily. But now I think Wanderer and Captain like turns off most of our outs. If we can draw a one mana burn spell, we can double spell, but they can just block. So gonna leave back the hex proofers. We did draw one mana burn spell. Alright, so uh Rift Bolt you. Prowse, Prowse. This actually isn't that bad. Um, but they can sack their self spirit, so. Alright, that's gonna resolve. Alright, so cast this. They sack Wanderer. Now they need to block with both of these, but we're just dead because they just block and self spirit. We'll see, we'll, we'll make them do it, but. So all they have to do is block up both of these and self spirit to save them, and then they have lethal next turn, so. Without Selva Spirit in play, this is probably a winning line, but unfortunately, uh, if we didn't shock land either, we probably would have been okay here, but unfortunately we had a shock land, so it is what it is. C'est la vie. Definitely, uh, again, on the play, I think we win this game easily, so if that happens to burn, though, you play burn, want to win your die rolls, want to win your die rolls, so go to game two and look at Path to Exile. And nothing else really, honestly. Cut these uh, these skull cracks probably. Vortex smash, sanctifier. Yep, looks good to me. Looks good to me. In a world of fury and solitude, imagine playing a tribal deck. A tribal deck. In a world of fury and solitude, one man dares to play modern goblins. He is the Mog Father. Ready, PG-13. Play Mog, Mog, Mog Monday after this. We're playing a little 8-whack, a little budget 8-whack in modern. We're doing uh, fast red decks today. That is the theme. Hands pretty bad. Uh, no recurring damage sources, but I think we got to keep two lands, five spells. So... It's kind of awkward, though, because, like, we, these skewers are really awkward. But I think we're going to keep 10 new brews. I haven't started yet. They'll probably be tomorrow. I'll start working on those. 
So we're actually going to hold on to our Lava Spike because we want to use it for Skewer on turn two. Spirit seems kind of good against Burn. Like the Wanderers are good. Pretty fast clock. The Wanderer. The Wanderer. All right. So Spear. That was a good draw. Uh, it's awkward, though, because we want to uh, save Lava Spike for Skewer the Critics. So really awkward draw on turn two here. Um, eh, we have lots of Burn Spells in that corner. We'll figure it out. I'm going to spike you. Just get it done. Get it done. Karn, 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 Karn. We should put Goblin Guide in a Stork. Um, yeah, I mean, no Bolt Goblin Guide's not nearly as, uh, it's crazy. I don't draw enough IBs. Oh, oh, LBs, Lightning Bolts. Thalia, too? Oh, my God. This is a massacre. This is a massacre. All right, I guess. Here you go. Not attack first and cast Skewer. Um, I guess we could have done that. It's less, less damage, you know? Like, I'm assuming we'll draw spells with Skewer. I wasn't, I wasn't, I wasn't planning on Thalia. Um, wasn't planning on Thalia, that's for sure. <laughs> they see me playing, they hate in. All right, uh, Thalia and Forge Tender is uh, going to seal the deal here. Let's go to the next game, I guess. I mean, I guess we have, like, Boros Charm and friends. Um, oh, man. Oh, good morning. Happy Monday. Happy Monday. There are nine. So they're going to they're gonna pop in a... Uh, or maybe they can just counter with this too. Oh my god. Alright, I'm just gonna go to the next match. Alright, alright, rough start. Rough start. It's gonna be the fastest modern league of all time. Fastest modern league of all time. Oh man, come on. I mean, double Eidolon on the play is pretty good. We have Searing Blaze also. I don't keep. On the draw, they got Mulligan, but. All right, so play this. There you go. Love these old border fetch lands. Whew, so nice. So nice. Esper Sentinel. That card's also so good against us. Holy crap. Uh, all right. I mean, I guess this is like, all right. Let's play a little Eidolon action. So there you go. All right. You're up. Solitude. <sighs> Alright, so if we don't kill the Fervent Champion, they can potentially uh, sort of Fire and Ice us next turn. The problem is, like, it's pretty, uh, pretty bad turn. Just, like, Land Searing Blaze the Champion. Uh, we're just gonna play Eidolon. If they have sort of fire and ice, we're, we're just dead. Whatever. Like, I I don't think our hand's good enough to play around that. So we'll suspend. Say go. Um. Pretty ideal draw. If they have sort of fire and ice here. Solitude again. And a fervent champion. All right. I mean, like, they're almost out of cards now, I guess. There's always that, right? All right. So we're going to Rift Bolt. Just target them. We'll pay the uh, pay the one. And uh, now they're at 17. We finally dealt them damage. Uh, play Eidolon number three. Of course, now they're out of spells, but... Vista. Oh, God. Here it comes. No, 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 uh, no sort of Iron Ice. Okay. Uh, I mean, I should actually held this land for from last turn for the Searing Blaze. Yeah, that might have been correct. That might have been correct. Definitely want to kill one of these because they're they're terrible by themselves. Not land anyway. So uh, let's play land. Let's we'll attack first. And see if they have any uh, thing that wants to kill this. 
All right, and then we're going to fetch a mountain. Searing Blaze, one of these Fervent Champions. Paper Sentinel. Pave a toll. Take two. They take three. We go to what are we at six now. We're at six, double idol on play, but our board beats their board at present. So your turn. Your turn, double solitude. Crack the Vista. Please don't play Sword of Fire and Ice, because that does just kill us. Stoneforge. Alright, that's not bad. So, now they're at 7. We just want to draw, like, almost any burn spell here is pretty good. I think Lightning Helix would be pretty ideal. Get Sword of Fire and Ice. Can't play it yet, obviously. Untap and draw a Swift Spear. I mean, we can only actually cast one spell here. So, they're at seven. We got to attack for, we're not going to play this yet. Um, I think we're just going to draw a card first. Let's start there. Draw a card. Ay, ay, ay. All right, so attack. Nah, they were just dead. Um, I guess maybe not, because they have to like, they probably double block one of these, like Stoneforge and Sentinel on one. Take the two from the other. And then I can play a Sysphere, but then they should have Sword of Fire and Ice, so... So Chump? Sure. So Chump, now they're at five, and we're dead. They should have Sword of Fire and Ice, we just can't do anything. We just bricked. We need to draw a Burn Spell of some kind. Um, even if we did draw a Burn Spell, I think we're still just dead. Because like, we can't stop the sword, we can't... I'm sorry, Burn Spell kills them, obviously, so... Um, yeah, we need to draw a Burn Spell. We're just dead. Like... There's no way they don't go for it. Maybe they, maybe they don't. Maybe they don't. Let's take go. All right. Oh, they can they can do they can do that. So they can just put it in. That's true. That's true. So they can uh, just put it in for not taking damage and, and just kill us. All right. Sure. So this is uh this is it's only actually six damage. Or five damage, I mean. So we're not like technically dead yet, I guess, but if they put us to one, we can't cast any spells. And then we just can't win the game anymore either. So yeah, it's a smart play. So put us to one. Now we can attack them down to one. We can't actually cast a spell, so we're just dead. We can't block us either, so. Yep. Uh not ideal. Not ideal. Alright, so uh, we're dead in game one. Bring in our smashes. Same side boarding as the first match. Uh, take out Skullcrack and a Boris Charm like last time, I think. Alright, let it ride. We gotta win a game eventually, right? Like, probably? Maybe Karn? What do you think? Should we win a game? Gotta win a game eventually. Oh, boy. This is going to be the fastest league of all time. I told Todd, I was like, might be a little late today. But uh, not at this rate. Not at this rate. We also do like seven lands in that game too, unfortunately. Those, those Solitudes are pretty bad. Solitude, of course, killed our Eidolon. They lost two cards, but didn't lose any life in the exchange, which is pretty bad. Could have played Lurus. I mean, we didn't have the mana to put Lurus in our hand and cast it. And casting Lurus takes, we take four damage anyway. So, I don't think there was a spot to get Lurus going there. Like, with two Eidolons in play, like, Eidolons a pretty interesting card. Because it just puts you in spots sometimes where, like, neither player can actually play a spell. So, with two Eidolons in play, we just, like, really can't play that many spells. And we have been kind of had a slow start where they were able to deal some damage to us, too. So... Compliments, I mean, not showing your tilting and keeping good attitude. So, Cornflake, you're implying that I'm tilting on the inside? No, 
not whatever. It's why it's, it's, you know, these games, but whatever. You know, I, I think that I haven't made any bad choices, really. It just We just sort of, like, lost these games, you know? Like, I don't know. We had some pretty awkward draws. Um, yeah, I don't know. We're good now. We're, it, all losing's done. It all turns around. This is the point. This is the moment. The line must be drawn here. No further. Keep. Keep. Very good end. Very good end. This far, no further. All right, Ahab. All right, Ahab. All right, I kind of want to just take one here because we have Eidolon, but we're going to... And we also have this pain, this pain land, but we'll just... Oh, I, sure. So, yeah, so we'll, uh, we'll draw Y at some point. And I'll make them pay for what they've done. No! Anyone? No? Karn, you haven't seen First Contact? All right, sure. I get it. Come on, man. Are you kidding me? Oh. I I guess, like... Oh. I mean, Nicole shouldn't play Burn. I mean, Nicole shouldn't play Burn. This is unreal. This is pretty unreal. Best track movie, though, is a bullshit time travel movie. Yeah, I mean, it's just, it's just a fun movie. Obviously, the time travel is kind of stupid, but it's a fun one, you know? You can get around it. It's not the best Trek movie, though. Um, I think Rathacon. I, I actually really like Undiscovered Country. That one's really, really good. Uh, Undiscovered Country is really, really good. It's got, like, good like, politics in it, some good battles. It's got some good moral ethical dilemmas. It's a good one. Bullshit time travel is a Star Trek staple. Well, Star Trek Four is, like, the perfect time travel movie. Because they're just like, yeah, whatever, we're going back in time, who freaking cares? Let's just do it and have a fun movie. You know, like, there's no, like, they didn't even try to make it sound realistic. Like, they're like, we're going back in time, we're going to have a great fun time, we're going to have to make some jokes, have some laughs, you know? If you're going to do, if you're going to do time travel, it's the way to do it. Alright, so, prismatic ending my Eidolon. That wasn't a bad exchange, though, this still took some damage on the exchange. Um, hello, computer. Hello, computer. Use the keyboard. All right. Uh, so we're going to... I mean, I guess we're just going to freaking idle on here. We could, like, hold this land for Searing Blaze, I suppose. Uh, yeah. I mean, just, like, play idle on and say go. We've now taken, like, some damage here from our land, which kind of sucks. So, like, we're playing idle on, like, an even board state with no way to attack, which really sucks, honestly. But tap three, four, or Ranger Captain of Eos. Take three. All right. How do you know we didn't invent this stuff? Uh, transparent aluminum. We're looking for the nuclear vessels. Nuclear vessels. Another forge tender? What are you, what are you doing to me? All right, uh, Searing Blazia. Searing Blazia. You want to prevent it? Can't cast... I was just going sure. That's fine. So I can't cast non creature spells. It's fun. We can attack now. It's pretty sweet. Um, fire at Rift Bolt here and attack. Wait, what? Wait, you can't suspend? With a Ranger Captain? Judge! Suspend is not casting a spell. Right? Really? Need to be able to cast it and be able to suspend it? Wow. I did not know that. That is uh that is a thing. Read suspend. Rather than cast this card from your hand, you may pay one and exile it with a time counter. Rather than cast it. Otherwise you could instant speed suspend. Okay. Alright, sure. Alright, that's fair. That feels like it's a fairy punk. You know, and you're like, that card doesn't work with the fairy either? Wow, all right, sure. I mean, it's not like the end of the world, obviously, you know. Forge Tender number two, they go to eight. Forge Tender number two, they go to eight. That's why you can instant speed suspend if you give, if you give it flash. Really? Wow, I did not know that. I mean, I'm pretty usually, usually pretty, pretty good at this stuff, too. They have three cards left. Uh, this is getting out of hand. Now, there are two of them. 
We watched uh, Nicole and I watched Boba Fett episode five last night. No spoilers, but these last two episodes have been pretty freaking weird. <laughs> um, all right, uh, land. I mean, can't really attack anymore. We have instant Boar Charm. I guess we're gonna suspend. I don't want to take any more damage. So we're gonna put this in depth and just say go with Boar Charm up. Season two, another show. Yeah, yeah. Boba Fett might cameo next week. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. We'll see. We'll see. Like, there weren't bad episodes. You're just like, what is going on? You know, like... Do I think Burn runs the Mono Red Channel Land? No, I don't think so. I think the card's really, really good, but I don't think it makes sense in Modern Burn. Um, Alright, so... Uh, yeah, it's been a pretty unbalanced show. Like, first episode kind of bored me to sleep. Then they had some cool stuff happening. And now we're just, like, watching a totally different show for some reason. Um, which is fine. They haven't been bad. But it's just like, all right, what's going on, I guess? All right, so we fire up the Boris Charm. I imagine they're going to sack one of these. Now he's going to attack also. So, no, it's going to take four. All right, sure. All right, uh, fire up the spent. All right, so uh, upstairs. We are all sticking damage here, obviously. So... Now they're at one, and now we just bolt them, and then they have to prevent it, and they just die, right? Let's say a removal spell. Let's um, let's pop one of these canopies first. Just start there. Maybe draw a second bolt. <laughs> Did I not tell you the game was gonna turn around, folks? Did I not tell you the game was gonna turn around? Huh? Didn't I tell you we were gonna have a turnaround here? We're not losing any more games in this league. All right. We're not losing any more games. Not even a match, a game. I declare right now. I declare. Uh, we're going to bolt again. And you're going to die. No, mental misstep. I expect you to die. Let's have their own bolt. That would suck. Prevent. They might have been right to actually not cast this bolt. Uh, because now if they have their own bolt, they can kill. Oh, they can't actually because they have a. We've had a lot of blood. They're just dead. They're dead. They're dead. Let's go. Let's dominate this O2 bracket. Do these paths? Maybe I do actually. Freaking pro red creatures at the wazoo. Um, Boris Charm, Searing Blaze, Smash Smithereens. Like. Don't want to keep the Boros Charms, because they're just, like, higher damage output. Let's, let's, like, let's, like, hedge. Do, like, one and one. Is Rift Bolt better than Screw the Critics? I think so. I think so. I forgot Danny Trejo was even in that show. <laughs> like. Is they're heavily leaning from the MCU that the fans love it for bigger universe people connected? Yeah, I mean, like, I will say... The, the thing I really, really liked about The Mandalorian was it was so self-contained. It was just like, okay, we're just going to tell this cool story in the Star Wars universe and just do our own thing. Uh, you know, And then, like, now Boba, and Boba Fett is just like, here's Boba Fett, here's this person, here's that person. And, like, that's like, I mean, it's been fine, it's fun, but, like, I, I don't know, I just like the idea. That was the problem that the sequel trilogy had also. It's just like, not everything needs to be connected. You can just do stuff, you know? Like, we don't need to have a cameo from every character, you know? Like, it's like in the prequels. Like, you know, like, Chewbacca did not need to be the Wookiee general that Yoda hung out with. Didn't need to, you know, Anakin didn't need to build C-3PO. Like, it's a freaking universe, for God's sakes. How many people are in this universe? Like, just, you know, you can just, you can just do cool stuff. Turby says, Mandalorian was great because he didn't tie into the Yes, Exactly. Exactly. All right, so uh, it's fun. I don't. We, we don't talk. We don't talk bad about Rogue One here, though. We don't talk bad about Rogue One here. Rogue One is the, like probably the best Star Wars movie. I didn't like Solo at all. That's all. I thought Solo was terrible. But yeah, Mando and then Mandalorian season two was still good. But they were just like, let's get Boba Fett in here. Let's get this person in here. Let's get that person in here. You know. All right, maybe we should play Eidolon. Uh, let's... 17 and 19 is not ideal. They've had perfect mana, just pain free, but let's see what we can do. Is Karn hung over? He's not feeling too well today. He's not feeling too well. I'm not, I'm not sure why. I'll keep an eye on him. Love for Karn in chat, please. Aww. YouTube comments of the day is feel better, Karn. 
Yes, Karn, YouTube loves you. The internet loves you, Karn. Yeah, Solo, Solo was a checklist movie. It was just like, let's show Chewbacca tearing somebody's arms off. I wonder how Chewbacca and, and, and Han met. I wonder how Han got the Millennium Falcon from Lando. You know, like, all right. Like, yeah, we get it. All right, so this is pretty good for us. Um, they just played a sword, didn't do anything else. We can kill a Sentinel. Uh, we're just going to kill Sentinel with Lightning Helix and just, like, pay the cost, say go, attack for two. Wouldn't it be cool if you saw the Kessig run? You know, like, all right, yeah, I guess. I just like new things. Destroy the past. Kill it if you have to. That's the only way you can become who you want to be. You know, the, the small part of the sequel trilogy that's actually good. If that had been the actual motto of, like, the, the sequel trilogy, it would, it would have been a good trilogy. The Kessig run. The Kess yeah. let's show uh let's show Han Solo doing the Kessig Wolf run. That's a mega nerd moment mixing Star Wars and magic. Alright, they get to equip here, and now we're just in big trouble though. Yeah. I mean I guess we could have like held the helix for their turn. Yeah, I guess I actually didn't, didn't need to kill the sentinel. I, I actually just punted. I screwed up. Uh I didn't need to so yeah, we we shouldn't have killed the sentinel like that. We should have just waited. Wait, wait, wait for them to equip. Uh, and now we're just dead. Actually, we're like dead, but we're, we're pretty dead. We're pretty dead. Um, maybe they'll like punt back and like kill my, uh, my Eidolon. They probably won't though. All right, whatever. Spike, yeah. You know what? I think I should have attacked actually. Yeah, I screwed up. I should have attacked first and see if they'll block just to get rid of it. And suspend both bolts and just draw a bolt next turn. I'm still going to do that. I'm going to do that. I'm going to attack. So if I attack now, we have lethal. Um, and I kind of want them to block. Because we are gonna we can just find another burn spell and kill them before they can do anything. Assuming they don't have a core spirit dancer. Not quite mean, not quite mean a core, I mean fortune or whatever. I know it is pro red. I'm throwing this away. I don't want this idol on anymore. That's why I punted by spiking first. I said I didn't like put that together fast enough. But now we don't take damage. Now as long as I don't have a four tender, we have always canopies, draw another burn spell and kill them. Um we have our draw step and multiple canopy draws, and this kills us in like three in like three turns, two turns. Fervent champion. Alright. Don't play another sword here. Oh, God. Oh, no. <laughs> well, uh, about that, the old hasty batter skull. Uh, yeah, we're dead. Okay. Um, you know what, Tuts? I think you shouldn't play burn at the uh, at the tournament. Oh, you don't say. Yeah. Uh, all right. Well, we're going to find Nicole a different deck. We're going to pack it in. Uh, we're going to drop him this league. If you're playing burn and mono right now, Godspeed. Because uh, holy shit. Um, there's already a lot of pro red stuff just trying to beat up on Ragavan and Darcy anyway. Um, I was like, I haven't really played against the... I was playing against a lot of Ragavan decks. Yeah. Um, Rhinos and Hammer. Yeah. I don't know. But, uh, yeah. Okay. Well, um, yeah. YouTube folks, love you. Like, comment, subscribe. Shortest video of all time.